All right, so I'm looking at this EGR and I'm trying to figure out how it works because I don't see any exhaust pipe anywhere going any to the intake. So, I mean, ooh, I don't remember how this works. Okay, it goes like this. Oh, no. it goes like this. All right, so this is the EGR valve. This is the one that controls the exhaust going into the intake via this cable that goes to the ECU or something. And so, uh, so this this is how the um, this is how the EGR works on the the 4G63, and I think it's it's pretty ingenious. There's no uh, on the 2GNT, the 420A engine. There's a, actually a pipe that goes from the exhaust of the engine, the exhaust side that goes to the back of the man manifold. And I guess that's okay. That's kind of it's it it kind of. They don't have a whole lot of space in the 4G63 engine bay, but the 428 they do, so I guess I guess that's why they had that extra pipe. But so here on the intake is your exhaust port. So this port goes from the exhaust somewhere. Somewhere, I'm not really sure where. Uh, I'm sure if you look at a service manual, maybe you can figure out where the exhaust goes, but it comes out of this port into this runner here, this little port here. It goes into this runner and then it heads to the exhaust, uh, the, yeah, the, the uh, it's called an exhaust gas recirculation valve, EGR. This wonderful device here that I absolutely hate. Oh, it goes like that, my bad. And, uh, and then this opens, it opens, it opens here, it opens, the valve opens here of the EGR and it comes out through here, through this other runner that goes into the intake runners. And that's how your EGR works. So I thought that was something really interesting to note. I, I've, uh, I've, I don't know, I haven't really worked on a whole bunch of cars, or I haven't taken the head off a whole bunch of cars. But I thought that was really interesting how that worked. Like, yeah, you know, I'm one of those people, like, when I go to the junkyard, I look at the cars, and I look at how they work, you know, like, oh, I like this design, this design is good, you know, and, uh, I think this is good, this is a good design, but look, like, there's, there's a, um, just like a channel or something where the exhaust comes out here in the head, so, I kind of like the idea of just having a pipe coming from the front and then going to the intake manifold, because you can replace the pipe, you can clean the pipe out, you know. This one, the inside is not, you know, it's inside. So all the carbon, carbon stuff, it will get stuck in here. So um, that just makes that hard to clean. But this one actually wasn't too hard to clean. It, it wasn't very plugged at all. And it's clean now. Alright, so I just wanted to show that. I thought that was pretty neato. I'm not really sure how the second gen works, but I imagine it works pretty much the same way. Here's my gal.